come back, he was as dynamic of a point guard as we have seen in the state. Khaled Alamine was the man at Minneapolis North back in the day. Now it's time for his oldest son to shine at Hopkins High School with some help from his point guard dad. Khaled Alamine is in the weight room working with his two sons. His oldest, Ishmael, is a senior at Hopkins. Khaled has missed much of his basketball career because he's been playing overseas. This season, he is not, so he's here. It's been great, actually. You know, um, through the years, I haven't always been here to watch him personally, but now I get to be here and, and really get to see him and have my hands on him and, and teach him. To Elamine, to win it. Yes! Even when Dad wasn't here, he cast a shadow. That's what happens when you are considered one of the best basketball players to come out of the state. The point guard on three straight state championships in Minneapolis North. You receive legendary status that your son can't miss. I've heard so many different, so many stories, so many great stories. I've seen film, so I know he was a, he, he was a man in Minnesota when he played back, back in the day. But so yeah, I know all the stories, but yeah, I know he was, he held it down. He's doing a pretty good job of cutting his own path, already committed to Division I Ball State. The comparisons to Dad are at least in the conversation. Well, the strange part is just making comparisons. You kind of want to make comparisons all the time. And Khaled was, you know, truly, truly special. And he, was, he had such a strong and powerful personality. And it's just, just getting that. That is, to an extent, what his dad sees, a kid transforming into a young man. I don't get nervous. I get excited uh, because, uh, you know, I, I'm ready for them to, to break out and be the player that I know that they can be. Um, but I know it's a process, and I'm willing to wait and for their game to mature. See, part of what made Khaled didn't make sense. He was short and a bit pudgy. But that didn't matter because he was game on every day. Because I had the ambition. I wanted uh, people to say and people to remember me. Uh, you know, when I played the game, I wanted everyone in the stands that was in the gym to notice that Khaled Elamine was on the floor. And that's what his son is becoming, a leader who loves the action, who wants to own it. It's kind of the same, same mentality that's still going through my mind, you know, just trying to, you know, be a leader for my team, you know, whatever situation we're in, whatever thing we need to get done to, you know, get a W out there on the court. What Khaled knows is that this is a process, and the key to his son's development is the key to what he sees in all the basketball players he trains. They don't know what their potential could be. Um, each player that, that plays a game, I'm sure they want to be good. They see themselves hitting the last second shot to win a the game. They see themselves playing in Division I or NBA, but they don't put in the work to do that. Because not only was he good enough, he still is good enough to handle Ishmael in a game of father-son one-on-one. You know, we go back and forth. You know, we played a couple of times, but as of right now, I'm close, but I'm not there yet. You know, not quite? Not quite. I got a couple, couple new things I need to learn still, but... So I'll get them soon. <laughs> they look alike, they talk alike, and to an extent, they play alike. Champlin Park beat Hopkins by 20 points last night. Watch out for Champlin Park. They have been off the charts this entire season, along with YZ, both unbeaten and making a case as favorites in the state tournament.